Hello and welcome back to Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. In the last episode, we actually happened to witness the very sad ending of Kaede Akamatsu, the first killer, and what was the original protagonist of this game. Uh, but alongside of her, we almost we also witnessed the end of Mono Kid from Mono Dam, uh, just coming in and pushing him in, killing him at the very end of the uh, punishment. Yeah. Bit confusing, but I know where it all leads to, so... It, even in saying that, I don't truly remember fully everything that happens, so... <laughs> everything that I say, take with a grain of salt, because I might also have other thoughts mixed in from, like, maybe other movies, games, or books that are just, like, flooding my mind. So, when I say something, take it with a grain of salt and think, there's a possibility he's probably wrong. <laughs> But, uh, bes uh, besides that, uh, I just wanted to come in here and mention a few things, uh, in the timing of this event, uh, in the timing of this recording, uh, it's been a week since I, actually a little bit over, uh, a week, since it's like a week and a day since I last recorded, and in that time, uh, apparently, uh, well, I think it's been out for, uh, a few days before that last recording, Arby's released some Diablo uh, sandwich, which they were calling the hottest sandwich in the world. Hottest fast food sandwich in the world. And it's so hot that you get a free milkshake. You do get one, but it's not hot. <laughs> it's not even close. Like Burger King's spicy chicken sandwich, which is like drenched in like this uh, almost like chili oil, like Chinese chili oil. It's something different, but it's like... Like, it, if you can imagine what that, like, oil and paste is in your head, like, that's just on the Burger King one. But, uh, the Arby's one isn't hot at all. I've had it twice, and I love it. It tastes so good, <laughs> but it's not really the hottest sandwich. It does have a nice kick, because it's, it's got diced jalapenos all over the top. It supposedly has like a uh, ghost pepper sauce, but I mean, it's kind of arbitrary. But another thing that happened in the fast food world, sorry that it's two fast food things, but it's really odd. Just last night, right before I was uh, thinking of recording this today, uh, Taco Bell just finished their uh, chicken wing line, which I didn't even I didn't even know about until like three days ago. And then, uh, last night I was like, you know what, let me see what, like, what the special thing is. Because if it's a taco, if it's Taco Bell doing chicken wings, there's probably something that they're doing to make it at least Taco Bell-y. Uh, tried looking it up on the menu and it's gone. <laughs> I missed it by a day just to even look at it. <laughs> oh well. Uh, and lastly, this one is a bit more prevalent to me. Where I live. Just last night, it reached down to negative 21 degrees Fahrenheit. And for my non-Americans, and I think there's a few places in the world that uses uh, Fahrenheit beyond the U.S. I don't remember which countries, because I know it's a, a mixed bag as to what countries use miles. Uh, but for my non-U.S. members, that's negative 30 degrees Celsius. I, I checked on the math just to make sure... Uh, <laughs> It's like negative 29 point something, but still. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's been cold and uh, kind of sucks for my family because our heat has not been functioning 100% in the last week and a half. So, yeah. Oh well, let's get back into the game. I mean, I don't, I don't think there's a bunch of people that really care about what I have to say anyway if they're here for this game. Ah, uh, yes. Everything left off with witnessing Kaede's untimely death. The moment it was over, I felt my legs give out under me. What I just saw didn't feel real. As if all reality had vanished and the only thing left was a fictional world. Real or not, Kaede was gone. Kaede Akamatsu no longer existed in our world. 
Yeah? Oh, what the? <laughs> Why is Mono Kid? Uh, Mono Dan? Uh, what have you done? <laughs> ah, gross! She puked again! Oh, well. <laughs> but this tension ain't so bad, you know? It finally feels like a proper killing game! If anything, we could stand to use a little more tension in our lives. Right, Dad? And no! <laughs> oh, what the fuck just happened with my, my voice? <clears throat> no! Uh, what what happened to my Mo Monokuma voice? Uh, punishment time! It, it's punishment time! I don't have no idea what happened to my voice. I can't think... I literally can't think of the... How to do the voice. <laughs> my sweet darling... Mono Kid claimed as collateral damage! Something like that. This is a nightmare! This is unacceptable! My precious cub is... On second thought, I guess it's okay. After all, I still got four more cubs! I'm glad you kids came in bulk! It's okay? I'm shocked! Our existence means that little, huh? What's done is done! What's dead is dead! No point crying over crushed cubs! Unless you want to end up like those sad sacks. Right now, you're on the threshold of your but how? What? What in the world is this? Really? Are you fucking kidding me? Talk about overkill. Amen. Okay, this this one I've like had some time to think about how to try and do her voice. I'm basically gonna do monophony, but like. A little bit different, and to do it, I have to actually hear myself a little bit more. Uh, so I have to take off my headphone to do this voice. Atua, please grant Kaede's soul eternal repose. I... I can't believe this much this happened to Kaede. I liked her so much! Kaede! <laughs> All this adrenaline creates such an exquisite feeling of despair. It's moments like this that make all the killings worth it! This is... Why are you doing such a terrible thing? How dare you! You're the worst of the worst! Does human life have no value to you at all? Hey, um... Hey, uh... I know human life is precious. I'm not a monster, you know. Because if human life wasn't precious, ending it wouldn't be nearly as fun! Extreme. There's no greater joy than witnessing such a display of despair entertainment. <laughs> Why are you laughing at a time like this? You surpass psychotic by a wide margin. What now? I don't think I've ever felt quite this... Irritated. I... I won't forgive you for this! Got that! I won't ever forgive you! Oh. Spoken like a marked man! Excuse me. What is your objective, Monokuma? What are you trying to pull? Do you hate us? Do you hate us? If so... Have we done something to make you hate us? Huh? Hate you? <laughs> Who can say? your job to figure out. If you really want to know what's going on, you're gonna have to work for it. Well... Oh, the corpse formerly known as Rontaro may have had a hunch. Huh? What is it? What do you mean? What was Rontaro's hunch? <laughs> what indeed? Is... He did say he would end this game. And he also knew about the hidden door. Why'd I add an accent to that? <laughs> Could that be at all related to this hunch you claim he had? <laughs> I wonder. Why you? Hey, what the hell's this hunch you're going on about? Spill it. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> if you have no intention of telling us, then keep your mouth shut. Cause you're focusing on Kaede instead of her uh, deadweight victim. Well, well. It's not his fault he was useless. He died before his talent could be revealed. If he had lived long enough to reveal it, maybe he would have been more useful. Oh well, he's dead and that's that. That's the difference for 
Yeah, that's the indifference of death for you. However, he wasn't really the mastermind, was he? You're really bugging me. Huh? Are you still pestering me with these annoying questions? Aren't you focusing a little too much on whether or not there's a mastermind? If you keep this up, you're all gonna end up like Kaede! What? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Here. Maybe spend less time worrying about nonsense and more time watching your back, okay? Right. You never know who's gonna come become the killer next. <laughs> I... I can't wait! I wonder what kind of killing game we'll get to see next. Uh, damn it. You may have gotten us this time, but we'll get you next time. You'll see. Why? Why are you all psyched up? That's nice. It's nice to see that at least one of you has some chutzpah around here. And that word is very, like, weird to look at. <laughs> I have a feeling you're gonna live for a while. Thanks. I'll do my best. Don't screw around. Shut the hell up! We're not gonna have another killing game! I, Kaito Momota! <laughs> I have to do it every time. I have to deliver that name like that. I'm not gonna let you have your way anymore! Got it? I'm gonna punch that grin right off your face, for sure! Is that so? Oh, really? That seems unlikely. I'm pretty sure you won't live long enough to do that. Damn. Uh, Anyway, you guys have a lot to think about. Work hard and do your best to graduate, because the fun's only just begun. Hey, uh, hey Model Dam, explain yourself. Uh, I should I should note the only real difference between Angie and uh, Monophony that I could come up with in the time is that whenever I do the Usami voice my tongue basically like latches onto the top of my on the roof of my mouth just behind my teeth and it gives a little bit of a lisp <laughs> so that's like the only difference <laughs> i get that model kid was obnoxious and rude but that was way over the line because i did it for us <laughs> he just dipped <laughs> hey wait mono dam uh, where are you going it's getting interesting. He probably killed him as payback for all the bullying. <laughs> what an interesting turn of events. And with that, Anakuba and the Cubs left. Only we remained in the courtroom. I... I don't think I can take all this. I can't stand this anymore. I, uh, I feel like... Uh, Going cr to go crazy. No. Zumugi, you mustn't give up hope. Mm. Is there even hope to be had here? The room feels utterly drained of it. <sighs> uh, Kaya Day. What kind of degenerate male cries in public? It's so rude. Um. Danko, you're crying too. Hey. Now's not the time to point that out, Kibo. Just let it be. Prayer time. In times like this, we should pray for Kaede's soul so she can rest in peace. What? How's anyone supposed to rest in peace after getting killed like that? I don't know. What are we gonna do from now on? Y yeah, I'd like to know too. I'm so over this already. That's ah, shut up! Shut up! You all just need to shut up! Kaido's voice boomed in the air, and the room went silent. Damn! Every single one of you, and your meek little complaints. Shut up! You're pissing me the hell off! Damn it! The one who's pissing me off the most Dumbass. is you. Su uh, God damn it! I'm still back on the bullshit of saying Suichi is you, Suichi. What? Uh, ow! <laughs> Why'd you punch me? Oh my god! Your teeth. Oh, I think I think this is supposed to be. Uh, I don't think this is bad per se. I think this is more so meant as like, get off your ass, 
She did this for us. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. She knew what would happen. Kaito, you are supposed to say that before you hit him. <laughs> did you hear what Kaede said? She said she believed in you. Yeah. That she passed her wish on to you. But what the hell's wrong with you? You didn't say a damn thing to Monokuma. You call yourself a man? Okay. <laughs> I, I was I was there for a little bit, and then that last line threw me off a little bit. Damn it. What's the matter? Say something already! Dumbass. I just hit you! Aren't you pissed off? What's your problem? Enough, Kaito. Mm -hmm. Sucker punching is pretty low, even for a low-life degenerate male like you. Listen up. You better knock it off, or I'm gonna explode my Neo Aikido all over your face! <laughs> okay. Fine. Are you okay? Shuichi, you uh... Yep. <laughs> I was about to continue reading and then I realized it was the same line. I'm fine. For now. Please stop. Please stop! Or some however he delivered the line before. Please stop! <laughs> this sort of altercation is just a waste of time. Don't mm. not sure if waste of time. It waste of time, I just realized. But going to agree. Fighting. Not good. Then... Can we leave now? Staying here will only make us more depressed. <laughs> well put. I agree wholeheartedly. And I just need to take a second. Uh, I got this shirt uh, for my sister for my birthday. And I think one of the sensors is still in this shirt. I, I can feel it on the back of my neck. So... Give me a second. Just coming back in for a second to say, yep, I was right, uh, the security tag. <laughs> ah, much better. Now I don't have that thing, uh, poking into the back of my neck. I can feel a little bit more comfortable. Ouch. Smack, smack this shit out of my hand on my desk. <laughs> well put. I agree wholeheartedly. Sorry. You all should go ahead without me. Um. Why? Is there a reason you wish to stay in place like this? In a place like this? I just... I want to be left alone for a while. Just for a little bit. But... But... We can't just leave you here by yourself. No. Smoogie, perhaps it would be best if we allowed him some privacy for now. Uh, okay, uh, I suppose. Shuichi, don't beat yourself up, okay? Yep, just hit the reset button on your feelings and you'll feel happy and cheerful in no time! Listen... That being a tad insensitive is important for survival. It helps one avoid suicidal thoughts. Hey! Gonta will go back too! Let Gonta know if you need his help, okay? I wonder what he's gonna do. One by one, everyone climbed aboard the elevator. Except... I mean... Shuichi. I don't know how well you knew Kaede. Why don't you try going to her ultimate lab? Huh? What do you mean? That's right. Monokuma set the room up, so there's probably not a lot there to remember her by. But... There should at least be a bunch of little things she liked. Uh, okay. Things... Kaede liked? Listen up. Understand? There's only one way to get through this awful feeling. No one's gonna be able to console you if you're just sitting here alone. I mean... If anyone's gonna help you, it'll be her. And your memories. Hm. As much of a... dickhole that he is that I don't like how he takes credit for a lot of shit, he... He's got a head on his shoulders, and he is very mature. In those words, he stepped onto the elevator. Before I realized it, I got to my feet. Just started walking. And I was headed toward the Ultimate Pianist's research lab. It's not as if there would be any memories here. 
These are the things that she was really passionate about. That's good enough for now. What a magnificent piano. I would have liked to hear her play it. If only just once. Oh, it reminds me. The song that Kaede was talking about. Of course, it must be here somewhere. I stood in front of the shelves of CDs and searched each one thoroughly, end to end. It should be here somewhere. Where is it? Oh. Here it is! This is it! Debussy. I took the CD from the shelf and placed it in the CD in the player in the corner. Soon, a soft melody had filled the classroom. Oh, this one, yeah. My body relaxed, totally enveloped in the music. It was a strange feeling. The sounds seeping into my body. Before long, I began to close my eyes. I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. Hmm, a pretty song to play for you. Oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. It's a soothing song that calms your heart, like the moon's reflection on water. <laughs> you noticed, huh? Yeah, I'm shaking too. But I'd be a mess if you weren't here. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I would have been so lost. I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. With you by my side, I feel like I can stand up to anything. You give me the courage I need to take on the mastermind. So please, be more confident. I believe in you, so you should definitely believe in yourself. Yeah, I'll try. I don't know if I can do it, but... No, I'll do it. I have to believe in myself. Hmm. <laughs> I won't be afraid anymore. I will face the truth for everyone. I won't give up for your sake, Kaede. I promise. From the bottom of my heart, I promise you, Kaede. Yep, that's our promise. I'm leaving everything up to you, Shuichi. Goodbye. Wonder why it was question marked out and not just left like hyphens, specifically question marks like with uh, Rintaro's thing. And with that, my class trial, our class trial, chapter one has come to an end oh, to be continued with 14 members left. Okay, <laughs> just what I think. <laughs> a very special class trial. Yeah, a very special one indeed. Musical note hairpin. Yes, I would like to save. Thank you very much, game. Uh, oh yeah, escape. <laughs> Forgot that I have to go away. It's been a week at least, remember? Huh. They were so young and talented. How could this happen? They? It looked like an accident. They were running away from that group. Was it really just an accident, though? I honestly can't believe that. I can't say it too loudly, but they were probably killed by that group. I thought so. Oh no. Well, there's nothing we can do about that. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. There's 16 here. I just wanted to make sure. I wanted them to live. For our sake, at least. Jeez. I wish they lived. No, they should have lived. They had to. For this world. Hmm. So, somebody is definitely mourning our loss. Losses. A thin line divides heaven and hell. I read that very quickly because, quite honestly, I wasn't even, like, thinking about what was on the screen. Where are you hiding? 
Come out. No more hiding. Come out now. I have no idea who this is. Oh, keep going to- <laughs> hey! Come out, bugs! Where are you all hiding? I'm glad that this lunkhead is, like, right back to normal. <laughs> Just when going to think he finds some, they gone. Weird. Really weird. Plenty trees, grass, water, sun, but no bugs. Why? Weird. So weird. Hey, bugs! Oh, yeah. I, I was about to say, that sounded a lot like Hero. Because it's the same voice actor, dumbass. <laughs> if any bugs here, come out! Going to want to talk to you! What that? Something on ground. In grass. Words written on it? What are you finding, Gonta? Horse A. Uh. Uh. C S. But what? What letters work with an H? Uh Hmm. I was thinking, I was just about to say maybe it's upside down, but no, because the E is written one way. Huh. Interesting. What? <laughs> oh. They are here. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering, because there wasn't anything set up in Kayade's room in that regard for... The mono things. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven? Is this game that long? Maybe there maybe that one on top doesn't really count. Okay. Who is it? Wait, I'm I'm coming, I'm coming. With the doorbell hurrying me along, I went to open the door. Oh, it's you. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? It's already morning. Huh? Kaito? What the hell is going on with my mouse? It, like, started to drift. <laughs> like, did anyone else see that at the very beginning? Like, when my mouse just started, like, going away? <laughs> uh... What all can I click on in here that's unique? Because it's different. And I wonder if Shuichi's gonna mention, like, Oh yeah, this thing has been in my room this entire time. Uh... It's a new dawn, it's a new day. We're looking at everything. Just a monitor. And, and a new person as well. Even if I investigate, I don't think I'll find anything suspicious. Maybe there's a camera in here? Watching us? Maybe not. Uh, it is interesting to think about, but... And I think I've raised that question. Bed. It's a normal bed. It was pretty comfortable. Uh, closet. My closet is filled with the uniforms exactly like mine. They went through all this trouble just for a killing game? What was their objective? Excuse me. Got the hiccups. Oh, uh, I, I was waiting for, like, dialogue to come up. So I interact with them individually? Oh, you just see how they interact. Um... This one was just lounging before, so is this one... Yeah. So I guess I should technically look at the one that doesn't appear. Oh. <laughs> well, that's boring. Yeah, there's no real need to look at those then. What's up, Kaito? Do you... need something? Come on, <laughs> well, yeah! Food! I was gonna eat breakfast with everyone in the dining hall, but you weren't there. That's why I came to get you. Huh? But I don't recall making any plans. I mean... You should be at the dining hall anyway. I mean, where else are you gonna eat breakfast? Hey. I don't usually eat breakfast, so... Huh? Are you serious? If you don't eat breakfast, then what do you eat in the morning? Huh? Uh... What? Ah, oh, whatever. Let's get going. The others are waiting. Oh. 
Wait, I'm not ready. Let me get my... Actually, never mind. I don't need that anymore. Okay. Let's go. Ah. All right. I was gonna tell you. My bad. Uh, I'm sorry about yesterday. You know, for slugging you like that. Huh? Uh, that, it, it, it's okay. <laughs> I see. Then let's go. Come on. Can I talk to you again or what? Uh, and I want to question something. My belongings are there. Also, necessary functions. Ah, yeah, that's right. Dress up. I get default handbook and default handbook. Pink and blue. Pink for the girls, blue for the boys. Yeah, that's setting gender norms. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, presents. I do have all of them. The only new one is the Kayade one. Yeah. Okay, there should be... Uh, one thing that I have to give... Actually, there's two things that I have to give out in this chapter, but I think there's one that I have to give out, like, relatively soon, so I should be on the lookout for that. Okay. I've made a mental note of where, uh, both interactions are. I'll try and remember them. Alright, Kaito. One last thing to say before we head out. Let's go. And the others are waiting, so let's go to the dining hall! Sure. And much like the other uh, Danganronpa games, I guarantee we're going to learn more about where we're living and staying, or residing is probably the best way to talk about it. What do you have to say about Kaede before we leave? Kaede, I... I will keep your wish. What about Rentaro? Uh, where are you? There we are. Rentaro? In the end, we never discovered your talent. How did you learn, Rentaro? You wanted to end the game. What was your plan? Okay, same thing. Hey. Everyone's waiting, you know? Let's hurry up and get to the dining hall! Sure. Uh, is everyone there? There might be some stragglers as well. You know. Probably should have looked around before I, uh, went there. Has that always been there? I... I remembered looking at those doors and... But I don't remember that. The casino in the background? And... I think I've got a hair in my mouth. Ugh. Well, I don't see anybody out and about, so... Let's go in. And see if Gonta's gonna mention about finding something interesting. The rock with horse A on it. Uh, no one's this way? Oof. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot that this uh, sensitivity is whack. Um, I haven't seen any Monokuma things yet. They're probably gonna be stashed away in the uh, new places. Oh yeah, the dining hall is this one. <clears throat> How many of us are going to be in here? I think that's 14 at a quick glance. Writing? Honest. Yeah, like someone tried to hide writing in grass. Weird, right? Uh, hmm. Atua says it's just graffiti. <laughs> now we don't gotta worry about it anymore. Atua, oh, that's even more suspicious. My my. Oh. Are you saying a suit Atua is suspicious? How sad. Cut it out. That's none of your business. Jeez. What's up with you guys? Are you still talking about that graffiti? You know. Whatever. I just. Oh, what the hell was that? It was like a weird... This, something weird just happened to end up in my pocket. Whatever. I brought Shuichi, so let's start breakfast already. What are we making? I quickly, I quickly realized that everyone was staring at me. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> As 
I expected, they were looking at me with surprise on their faces. Good morning. Yep. He's without his hat. I... At f when he first said, I don't... I don't need that, it took... It genuinely took me a second to remember what he was gonna lose. Or what he didn't need anymore. But... Yeah. <laughs> it throws her off. Good morning. <laughs> oh, Shuichi. Um, you finally got rid of that emo hat. Is this because Kaede died or whatever? <laughs> Quiet, you male. Learn some manners, why don't you? Oh, huh. You're not wearing your hat. I didn't even notice. Yeah, I had a feeling Kaido it was just going to go over his head. I mean, technically, he did see us back in our own room, so why would he expect me to be wearing it then? What? No, I just <laughs> felt like it was getting in the way is all. Uh, um. You don't have to stare. I just took off my hat. It's not a big deal. Actually, one thing that I can attest to is that a little bit of a change in uh, uh, just wardrobe and everything is actually really odd. Uh, one thing that kind of happened to me and I was seventh, eighth grade, I think. Uh, in my school, there's a small rural school that I went to uh, from fourth grade all the way up to my senior year. I hate jeans. I hate them. I hate the way that they feel. I hate the way that they look. I think they look fucking stupid. But... And my, my class knew that. And not only my class, the school knew that. <laughs> uh, and one day I came in late and in, uh, the school was having an assembly in the gym. And when I came in, I had to literally pass around and go around what was being like shown off because the bleachers were facing the doors that I came in. So I walk around the entirety of the uh, gym floor and one of my friends... Uh, Later tells me that it was basically like the game of telephone. Oh my god, he's wearing jeans. I had worn a single pair of jeans that day. <laughs> Spread like wildfire. So this is actually not that uncommon to happen. And this is only just a select few people. So an entire school of like, I think it was 400 people. He wore jeans. It genuinely does happen. <laughs> You are right. My apologies. I... I like it. I, I, I think you look more handsome with your head off. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly don't mind if you compliment me, because you're honestly really pretty. It's just your personality's a bit off. And I think it's just because you have a low self-esteem. <laughs> How nice for you. Unlike playing Jane over here, who turns invisible as soon as her glasses come off. I am plain, but it's the other way around. Taking my glasses reveals my true form. What? <laughs> what? What? True form? Didn't you know? Those who see my true form pay a terrible price. Uh... feel like there's a reference that I'm forgetting. Not, not... It's not that I'm... That I don't know it. I just can't place it. Listen up. Anyway, don't be late anymore, Shuichi. We already decided we're eating breakfast together. This is stupid. You decided that on your own. Yes, of course. Yes, yes. I prepared breakfast for everyone. I forgot that you that you're the ultimate maid. I don't know how that goes over my head when looking at your design. <laughs> huh? Really? You did? That is correct. Indeed. It was no trouble at all. I've prepared an Italian omelette, buttermilk pancakes, smoked salmon, uh, galette? I know I've read that word before, but I can't remember if I'm pronouncing that right. I don't think I am. And for those who prefer Japanese cuisine, I've prepared rice balls and miso soup. Hey. Kurumi, be my mom! <laughs> well, that puts a different spin on the whole ugly trend that went around with the Starbucks employees. God, I feel bad for those people. Gona wants you to be his mom too! But that's a different thing in entirety. 
And what are you two even saying? Oh, yeah. I'll show you guys something really neat. I I was taking a second to read. Oh, yeah. Look, look. When Hibiko eats, she makes the cutest face. Aw, she's like a small animal. Stop it. You're making it hard for me to eat. Stop it. <laughs> we chatted casually as we began eating the food Kurumi brought out. I thought it was bought at first. I was like, bought? What do you mean? Don't do not mean to flatter, but all this food's so yummy! Excellent. Mm. It's so delicious. It makes me want to cut off my tongue. Ugh. Why? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The rice balls aren't just ordinary old rice balls either. <laughs> the outside is packed tightly so it won't fall apart, but the inside is nice and soft. And because the rice wasn't crushed, you can taste every sweet, sticky grain, even when it's cold. Jeez. Hey, do you have some sort of god tongue or something? May I? Did this come out when, uh, Food Wars was serializing? Shokugeki no Soma? Uh, this came out in 2017. I think I started watch... I think I started watching... Uh, Food Wars in 2017. So, maybe, maybe they would have gotten, had the manga reference. By not crushing the rice, air is able to flow between each individual grain. Actually, no, I think it came out in 2016. When I think about it. The triangle shape itself is less important than maintaining a loose grip as you form the shape. Maybe even 2015, now that I think about it. I'm gonna stop trying to remember. You will find it much easier if you imagine yourself gripping it with your entire body. Nah, I can't make rice balls. I can't even tell the difference between rice and termites. You're joking, right? Hey! How have you survived this long? <laughs> I love how Shuichi has a little bit of Kaede in him now, like... How? <laughs> What's wrong, Keyboy? You're not eating! Oh, I see. oh, yeah! I totally forgot you can't eat! You know, because you're a robot. Hey now, don't look so down. I'll bring you a broken TV later. Well, I don't want that. I'm not a waste receptacle. Uh, receptacle. <laughs> Debo and Kokichi seem to get, be getting along swimmingly. We were having a normal conversation, as if nothing had happened. We all knew it wasn't really normal. It was forced conversation. But that's to be expected. That incident just happened yesterday, after all. Everyone's forcing themselves. And that's why... Oh god! That is such a haunting image. The fact that Kaede's face is blocked out. Like, it's not the fact that there's, like, pricker vines, which I didn't notice before, and the steel barbs. It's the fact that her face is overcast with the shadow. It's kind of forced normalcy. It's just making us remember what happened. What's the matter, Shuichi? If you're not gonna eat this, I'll just help myself. Oh, sorry. Hey, I was gonna eat that. I pushed those unnecessary thoughts out of my head and shoveled food into my mouth. That thing going to talked about earlier. Are we going to go check it out? Fucking virgin. <laughs> uh, if anything, I think he's the least qualified for that. <laughs> I think he's the oldest one here and probably the most experienced. If anything, something could have happened while he was in jail. <laughs> Quit fussing over some lousy graffiti and work on <laughs> and worry about your shitty future instead. Huh? Graffiti? Um. Oh, going to find it this morning. Horse hey. A. Uh, maybe the R isn't finished and that's supposed to be an N. Uh, it's probably going to keep getting updated as we go on. On concrete, hidden in grass. Horse A, written there. What do you think it means? Well... 
its meaning is entirely shrouded in mystery. It's written very childlike. You don't think it's like another thing of Chiaki, right? See, like this thing I don't remember at all. I don't remember what this is for. I think it's probably later, and I think it probably gets revealed more and more each chapter, so that's why I'm thinking it ties into the end. But that's purely speculation. Uh... Hmm, I don't know. Not even the ultimate anthropologist knows. I thought it was some anthropology thing. Yo. Well, how about it, Shuichi? Let's hear the ultimate detective's opinion. Huh? Uh... I don't know. I don't know either. But, but... But, but, but... Don't, uh... I'm surprised you were able to find that graffiti hidden in the grass. In the grass? Feeling divine? Do you channel the divine too? No. Oh, that because of tiny bugs. Mm -hmm. Bugs? I thought vermin were nowhere near... Were nowhere to be seen in this academy. Um... Yeah, going to think that before, but... But... When walking in courtyard, going to think he see tiny bug. Bug so tiny, even Gonta not uh, no could see it, and Gonta have twenty point six two five eyesight. So maybe Gonta just make mistake, but Gonta think I actually don't know which thing he needs help with. Um, I think perfect distance, but lackluster close up vision. I don't know what, I don't know which number is which. I don't even know my own. Maybe no. Maybe going to just see things. Uh, I I do know that I have very strong close-up vision, so I'm not I'm not far-sighted. I am a little bit near-sighted though. Uh, which I've always hated how that's flopped. Um, well, I, I guess it I guess it makes sense because like you can only see things that are near, but you can't see things that are far. Oh well. Maybe going to just see things. Degenerate male. Ah! Just make up your mind already, you degenerate! So, you found the message while you were out chasing some bug? Oh. Wow, Gonta! You did it! I knew I could rely on you since the moment we met! Huh? What? Really? It's true! <laughs> yep, so you should work for me! Got it. Okay! What? You're going to agree to it just like that? Be careful, Gonta. That guy's a real liar. What? Really? <laughs> no way! Thank goodness. Good. Then Gonta have no reason to worry. Huh? Will you believe just anyone? <laughs> <laughs> I love that laugh. <laughs> Gonta, you're so gullible. You know, if you keep being this gullible. How are you doing that? And why are... Uh... This, uh, this might get me in trouble. <laughs> this might get you in trouble, actually. You'll be killed before you know it. Understand? Ah. The moment Kokichi said that word, the warm, casual mood shattered. What's the matter? What's wrong, everyone? Is there a problem with Kokichi's advice? <sighs> oh, Kokichi. You know should say thing like that. Even as joke. Hmm. hmm. Say what? Kill? Has the K-word been banned? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> but that's not very reasonable, is it? Not when the killing game is ha is still happening. How can you be so insensitive? Especially after what happened yesterday. I'm ready! This is why I hate degenerate males. They're about to- they're about as considerate as amoebas. <laughs> Don't complain as so if some scary guy yells, What color is your blood at you? You really don't get it. Is that kind... It's that kind of talk that lets Monokuma play like... Bleh, you all like fiddles. Huh? What? Oh? Did you just hear that? Don't mind me. I was just talking to myself. Hello! Looks like you guys are having a good time! Let me join in! Yeah. 
Yeah! And they're having a jolly good time and ganging up on me! What? Isn't that your fault? Huh? Ganging up? Hey. No bullying! Bullying is not cool! Bullying is the worst! Personally, I think bullying is... Uh, is because of lousy parenting! It's all the parents' fault! They should do a better job at raising their kids! Why are you even here? Yeah. Ah! I figured I'd give you guys a prize for surviving a class trial! Huh? A prize? Rise and shine or shine. We're probably gonna get more ultimate rooms. Or we might get more floors, but Rise we already have floors available. Um, the reward, right? Well, we brought it! Yep! So, I'll just give it to you then! My cubs seem a little under the weather. Well, even so, they're still freaking adorable. Are, are you being bullied? Yeah. <laughs> That's um. I understand. From experience. Aw. From experience, Hibiko, were you a victim of bullying in the past? Is that why your heart is broken? And you can't express real emotions anymore? You're the worst of the worst! Uh, use your magic to turn the human rejects who bullied you into misshapen wretches! Stop it. I don't use my magic for stuff like that. And don't just make up my backstory. Huh? Hold on! The Mono Cubs bully each other? What? No way! The Mono Cubs should always get along! My widow cubs. I love, I love this voice actor. Hey, you kids play nice together, right? I'm not a lousy parent, am I? <laughs> I just remembered because obviously, like, I have to edit through all this shut this uh, stuff and shit that I, which I combined together. I uh, finished editing through the one area where I <laughs> I made a note where. He, uh, Makoto was talking to him, and he grumbled walking away. God damn, motherfucking bitch! <laughs> so that actually fits with this. Even if you do bully each other, it's real bad! Oh, wait. Even if you do bully each other real bad, it's not because I'm a bad dad! Right? We are all friends. We all get along. Always. <laughs> oh, yes, we do. Right. See? My children are good kids. Where's Minosuke, by the way? I, I, I didn't, I didn't see when the Cubs came out, so I didn't, I didn't see Minosuke there. They would never bully each other. The uh, bullying will never stop because of people like you. Oh well. Oh, Minosuke is here, and I, I, th I think that's actually a really well written line for, for Himiko. The fact that bullying will never stop because nothing gets done to stop the bullying. That's actually really well written. Well, I think the threatening vibe we mono cubs give off is perfect. And that's that. Cause we're a team of scary badasses who are gonna drag you down to hell. <laughs> Such adorable little badasses. Got it. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna hand out the rewards you's all been waiting for. Nonsensical prizes for you. Uh, that's like a the top left with Mono Dam is like a fortune thing when you go to a temple on New Year's Day in uh, New Year's Day or New Year's Eve. I think it's New Year's Day in Japan. You go to a temple, uh, you wait in line to ring a bell, cleanse your spirits, wish for uh, like one specific goal, whether that be love. Uh, doing well on tests, just anything in general. And then you can also buy a plaque, uh, a wooden plaque, placard thing, plank, and then you hang it up and then you can see, like, it, it you can actually read, like, everybody else's wishes and, uh, just try and also, like, give positive energy to see if they'll also get theirs in the future. Minosuke's is, uh, an ocarina, which, 
a lot of weebs just end up buying them. And honestly, because I've... I, I just love playing instruments. I've uh, I've always loved trying to learn new things, whether that's languages uh, or instruments, uh, art. I, I just like learning. It's it's really weird. Like I I don't think I'm notoriously good at one thing or another. Like I wouldn't be con I wouldn't consider my myself an expert in anything, but I like learning everything. So I I can get myself up to good or even okay at some things so an ocarina is never is one thing that i've never actually touched a recorder most kids probably and that's comparable uh i have no idea what the hell monotaro has and i think that's a tire iron but the tire irons that i've always seen are differently shaped so i don't know what the hell monophony has it's definitely supposed to tighten the bolt why? All right, listen up, because we. Oh yeah, you already said that. A dragon gem, an ocarina, an ancient passport, and a hexagonal crank from uh, some zombie game. A dragon gem. Gotcha. These prizes all come in a bundle. Hmm. Wow! What a bunch of random junk! Bravo! Bravo! Yay! I don't get why these are prizes. But aren't they lovely anyway? Hmm. What? What's all this crap? What are we supposed to do with this? To tell you the truth. Honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe there's a way to use them without knowing what they're for? Who cares? Just put your best foot forward. It's easiest to move forward than backward. How nice! No. Don't get inspired by him, Gonta. Anyway, that's the situation. So just do your best. Uh, best however you please. Let's go. <laughs> You're gonna get payback for all the bullying by attacking us in a secret weak point? Secret weak point? A secret weak point? You mean the nape of our necks? That's uh, Shingeki no Kyojin or Attack on Titan reference. Not that. Anything but that. Uh, the only way that I can really remember, like, the slight difference for his voice, and Kibo, and what was Shuichi's original voice, and my voice, is, FATHER! <laughs> but it's so, it's so my voice that it's like, there's barely any difference. Actually... Wait, so the nape of your necks is your weak point? I would never do that. I just want to get along. Get along? Really? You stupid. Don't let him fool you. He killed Mono Kid, remember? So long, I love how there's a giant gap between <laughs> everyone in Mono Dam. Hmm. Seeing that robot looking one get left out makes me think of Kibo. Huh? Am I really excluded? Hey. So, what should we do with this junk? Maybe we need to use these on those mysterious things all over the campus? Oh, Jagged- or er, dr <laughs> Jagged Drem. <laughs> Dragon Gem, yeah, that's right. Uh... Um... I think... Let's see, the tire iron... Where would that go? Don't know the tire iron. The ocarina... Uh... Something in the music room? And I think the placard might go on the ninja statue outside. However, mm, what'll happen when we do that? Uh, I'm not sure. See? Well, we'll know once we try. <laughs> I'll take that junk then. No, let's leave this to Shuichi. Huh? What? Me? Hey. You're the ultimate detective, yeah? You should be good at weirdo puzzles like this. So I'm gonna leave it to you. I'll try. Yeah. Whatevs. I guess that's fine. So, I need to go around the academy and figure out what these mysterious objects are for? Alright, let's get going. Wow, immediately. I don't even exit the room. And I'll do that. 
in the next episode. I ran a little bit over, and I think I just saw all the items on my right on the right hand side of my screen right before I clicked F1. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, it feels it feels good to be back playing this and recording this. I honestly, I do I did miss like recording this, but I was doing other stuff at the time that took uh, more like. Uh, not focus or like time is just I was needed elsewhere for other things. So, oh well. Besides the point, <sighs> it may have only been an hour long, supposedly as that's what the recording says. But it feels like I've been recording for like three hours, and like it feels fun, uh, like a fun three hours that flew by. I don't know how, but just does and my dog is working so i'm i'm sorry if my mic is picking that up but oh well i'll figure out what he's doing i'll shut him up in the next episode but for now i'll leave you with one final message in that being have a nice day